Hello and welcome to the Brown Homestead. Today we are looking at an alternative solution to protect and cover the original stenciling in the John Brown House. In the 1980s, when the previous homeowner was restoring the home, he removed a partition wall in the dining room, revealing a section of wall stenciling. Based on the construction of the wall, we predict it was built sometime between 1803 and 1860. They were then covered by plastic sheeting to protect and preserve. Although this method prevented people from touching the surface, it was ultimately not the best solution for preventing air or light deterioration. In addition, as you can see, remnants of the adhesive became stuck to the original stencil and we want to prevent this from happening again. As an alternative, today we'll be using a substance called Paraloid B72. It has been used in conservation as a consolidation agent, a fixative, and an adhesive. It comes in pellet form and is dissolved in a solvent to create a liquid. When the solvent evaporates, the paraloid is left acting as a plastic seal protecting the surface. We are using acetone as the solvent. We used 5-10% to paraloid by weight. We advise caution if you're going to try this at home. Be sure to wash your hands after to ensure you haven't left any solvent residue on them. Also, we suggest you use a glass container when mixing. Don't use plastic or it will melt. This technique is a more modern approach to preservation, but we are confident in the decision having spoken with other heritage restoration experts in and around the province who have used Paralite B72 in their work. The conservation of similar era stencil work at the Gage House in Stony Creek's Battlefield Park back in 2018 being our main inspiration. You don't have to be paranoid about Paralite. We hope this tutorial gives you the confidence to try it yourself. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.